Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my trying a new makeup product everyday series. Today I am so excited to try out this beautiful Coco Gold Mist, hydrating setting mist from the brand The Beauty Crop. So I'm going to shake this up because it has gold shimmer in it, which just looks so pretty and fun. So I actually got this in my February 2021 BoxyCharm base box. So if you have not seen my unboxing of that, I'll have that video linked in the description down below so that you can see all of the products I got. This is a lot of work shaking this up because all the shimmer settles on the bottom, but it looks so pretty with the shimmer floating around. So this is cruelty free and vegan. It retails for $14.99, which I don't feel is too crazy of a price point for this pretty big setting spray. It says it leaves the complexion with a glowing, long-lasting freshness throughout the day. It's enriched with anti-aging hero ingredient purslane and hydration magnet hyaluronic acid. So you can use it before makeup and to set your makeup and then to rehydrate your makeup throughout the day. So I have not applied my foundation yet, so I wanted to try this out so underneath and on top of my foundation. So I'm curious how this sprays. Ooh, ooh, that seems like it's like a really squirty mister. Ooh, it actually smells like coconut. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm excited. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it all over my face and so here's how my face is before and we're gonna see if it adds any extra glow my skin's also a little bit dry in places so I feel like this should be perfect since it's hydrating oh my gosh it is such a harsh spray bottle like it really squirts a lot of mist on your face it's not even mist it's like i can't even say it's a mist because it's seriously just like squirting so much like water right onto my face like my face is soaked right now so <laughs> i'm even just gonna like rub it in a little bit but this spray bottle uh, <laughs> is one of the worst spray bottles i've ever used i feel like the thing nowadays for setting sprays is to make like very light misting bottles and this is just as opposite i feel like as you can get <laughs> so now i'm just kind of fanning it dry like it doesn't even feel nice on the skin just because it's such a harsh spray with so much product and you know what it actually leaves flakes of glitter on the skin but it's like kind of like sporadic glitter like it looks like glitter fallout from eyeshadow or something all right i like i don't love that i mean i love glitter but this just doesn't look right it's like you get like a few random flecks of glitter and it's like oh you got like a piece of glitter on your face there <laughs> it has like no tackiness hmm so far, I'm not <laughs> having a very good experience with this, but we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation. I'm going in with the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. All right, and let's see how this foundation looks, if it looks smooth and hydrated. The foundation definitely isn't really gripping on to my skin because there's no tackiness. So I feel like it's hard to get much coverage. I have to say though, my skin is looking very hydrated. Very smooth on my dry chin. It looks completely hydrated. But yeah, I definitely have very light coverage from what I was able to build up with the foundation. But there's still a little bit of texture that I can see from the foundation, just like a little bit of cakiness 
in certain areas, like here on my cheek for some reason, a little bit on my nose, yeah. but maybe that will smooth out when I apply the setting spray on top of it. Because my skin is looking, it's like a natural finish right now. It's not looking super shiny. Can't really see the glitter anymore because the foundation covered that. But it's like, I don't even want to spray my face with this right now. And, and you know that's bad when you don't actually want to use the product because the way it sprays is just so horrible. But I'm committed to trying this out, so let's go for it. Oh. I do like the smell of it. It's very light coconut scent. It's not overpowering, but what is overpowering is how much my face is soaked right now. Like, absolutely soaked. <laughs> Let's try and fan it. I'm just gonna use this soft end of my beauty sponge to kind of bounce over all of the water droplets on my face right now. And yeah, my face is looking glittery. I kind of thought the shimmer would add more like glow, but no, it just adds a few flakes of glitter onto the skin and that's not what I want. The foundation is looking hydrated like how this says it will refresh and hydrate your makeup throughout the day. I think where it was looking a little bit dry, like on my nose, on my cheek, it is looking smoothed out now. But I don't know, there's a lot of glitter going on with my face right now. And it's just very rare that I can wear just like gold glitter lightly dispersed all over my face. And I love glitter. I always wanna wear glitter, but this just doesn't look very good. So I love trying out setting sprays. I've tried out a lot of setting sprays. Even this month, I got the Item Beauty setting spray, which I really liked. And this is one of the few setting sprays that I just truly cannot say that I like. I don't like the bottle, but that's not a problem. A lot of times I just pour my setting sprays into a different bottle anyways. So there, there's a fix to that, but the gold sparkle just doesn't make sense. Like it, it was such a nice idea. I was really excited when I saw it with that gold sparkle, but I just can't have like gold glitter <laughs> randomly on my face. And also it does add shine and hydration to my skin and the makeup, which I really like. So I think I would like this if it was in a better spray bottle and it didn't have the glitter because it's got this nice shine, not too greasy looking and definitely feels very hydrated. It doesn't have tackiness though. So I feel like this is best as a setting spray on top of makeup rather than underneath. So yeah, that's my honest opinion. I'm not sure I'll find use for this, but I definitely am very curious. Your thoughts on the Beauty Crop Cocoa Gold Mist Hydrating Setting Mist? I just, it's so funny. Gold Mist Setting Mist. And I just do not think this is a mist. This is a squirt bottle. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day and I will see you tomorrow in my next video.